How's it going everybody? AAH Money here and today we're going to be playing some Black Ops 2 with AAH Bromageddon. We're going to be playing some multi-team hardpoint on the map Yemen and he's going to be using the B23R. And for those of you who do not mind, the B23R and the C4 kills is going to be a total of a 74 gun streak. But those of you who do mind, do not worry because we did the math for you and it's going to be a 56 gun streak utilizing only the B23R. So there you go, you've got your, your two little sections for those of you who don't mind C4 and those of you who do. Either or is going to be a wonderful gameplay he's fucking beast he's playing extremely smart with this thing it is on a fairly mid-sized uh, map in black ops 2 and he's using nothing but the pistol so you definitely have to give him his props for that when you guys go check out his channel which i'm hoping you guys do you're going to be able to see other high gun streaks on black ops 2 along with some search and destroy good score lines and those are pretty unique for me because i don't watch a lot of snd but when i do i do like the ones that are pretty beasty in their running gun and he definitely supplies those so you guys definitely have to go check out his channel now it is a fairly long video today so i'm going to try to keep you guys entertained all the way through and today what i want to talk about is gaming accessories and equipment and if you guys feel that they're unfair or if you guys don't really mind and basically what i mean are turtle beach headsets astros control freaks and scuff controllers now accessories like that do you feel that they are overpowered in the hands of a good player or even a decent player very recently i purchased a set of control freaks for my playstation controller and i will say there is a big change in terms of accuracy and being able to handle my weapons now i do play hardcore and if you guys do not know or not familiar with hardcore versus core core is more of an aim based game and hardcore is more of a reaction based game so I can't give you guys a full description of how much it helps me because in terms of accuracy it's not all that big of a deal in hardcore because technically speaking as long as I can get a few bulls down range before you can lock on target I'm usually gonna win that gunfight but I will say in terms of accuracy it has definitely helped me now is it really fair that companies are able to offer such equipment just so someone can gain a tactical advantage over the next person and I won't say that a scuff controller in the hands of a noob is going to drastically improve his game very much but in a game where reaction time speed accuracy is very important and you have a controller that can say cut off a fraction of that time whether it's seconds or milliseconds those milliseconds can be very vital in a gun battle versus someone who's of equal talent to you but doesn't have say a scuff controller and in terms of call of duty ghosts having a set of astros is paramount to someone who's using a Bluetooth or just listening to the game volume outside of their TV because being able to hear you from a mile away versus being able to only hear you from around the corner can definitely give you a great tactical advantage in any gunfight or just playing Call of Duty in general and Call of Duty Ghost is one of those very unique CODs to where it's very sound horror based and for those of you that run Dead Silence, running Dead Silence against a guy with Astros might not do you very much good. Now, I'm not very familiar with a set of Astros because I do use Turtle Beaches and I do have the basic P11s. And they're actually pretty good. And I can only imagine that a set of Astros are going to be far superior to a set of P11s that only cost about $60. And in terms of a control freak, those are only about $15 high end. So you can get a pair of $6 control freaks and still have a good advantage over the next person. Now in terms of a scuff controller, I do have a PlayStation and I'm not sure if you can even have a scuff controller for the PlayStation. I know a lot of the bigger YouTubers, Pub Stompers, they're on the Xbox and primarily those are the players you see with scuff controllers. I haven't run into anyone nor do I know anyone with a scuff controller on PlayStation. But I do know being able to optimize the controller to your own fitting is going to give you an even greater tactical advantage versus the person who has has to adjust his fingers or move his fingers just to jump or do a drop shot or what have you whatever you can do to increase the effectiveness of that controller you're gonna have a better advantage over someone who clearly doesn't have that to their liking or on their side so what do you guys feel in terms of these gaming accessories being available to your everyday player because I do know in competitive you're not allowed to use such things you have to use the basic controller just like everyone else and of course you're not gonna be able to regulate that in pubs because it's at home and there's no stopping hackers let alone someone who wants to use a scuff controller and I personally don't have an issue with it I think the 
the only thing that comes into play is are you just as good without that scuff controller as you would be with a regular controller now keep in mind if you purchase a scuff controller you wouldn't necessarily be able to determine that because you can use a scuff controller every day along with you know astros or control freaks once you purchase them they're yours and then unless you can't transfer that equipment to the next system it's going to be yours to the end of days or until you sell it so i guess the biggest dilemma is if you were to run against someone in the world of call of duty anything you can hold against someone for taking or accepting a loss or even winning and having a bad score line nine times out of ten someone's going to call it out so if someone was to say hey the only reason you're so good is because you're in a full man party or you're solo but you got hosts you can believe that if they find out you have Astros or any other additional equipment to add to your arsenal, that they're going to be quick to call that out and discredit your gameplay or discredit your ability to play better with or without that equipment. So I guess the question is, where exactly can you draw the line? Because although those equipments are illegal, referring to control freaks, Astros, and everything we've been discussing, there are controllers to where you can get them modded and those technically aren't very legal. They aren't illegal, but if you have a modded controller with say rapid fire, is that legal? Maybe it's a kind of a gray line in terms of Call of Duty, but you definitely call someone out if they were running around with say an MK14 or MSBS and the shit had fucking rapid fire on it, you'd be pretty pissed. And I can't say I'm not guilty of that because I do have a modded controller. And even when I bought it, I never used it. It is gold. And that's really the only reason I purchased it because it was gold and I like the color of it. So I can add it to my collection of controllers. But with the 50 cal and being able to handle the recoil or any other single shot weapon like say the MK14 or a burst weapon for that matter, it is freaking deadly if you can control the recoil and I personally could not, but that doesn't mean it's not possible. So where do you draw the line between say a scuff controller where you can say this gives me a tactical advantage and then draw the line between that and a modded controller because a modded controller in some ways or some way shape or form can give you a tactical advantage. Back when I bought my modded controller, I didn't know what a drop shot was. It would have been freaking handy dandy if I would have put it on there and I was running around Modern Warfare 3 with the automatic drop shot button that'd be freaking amazing rather you're playing core or hardcore you can hit the ground so freaking fast because it skips animation along with canceling out sleight of hand you can just have any weapon you want and have the fastest reload in the game because it cancels out animation now I don't believe these modern controllers are available for the next generation of systems but you can believe that eventually once they get the controllers down they're going to be available so I guess my biggest thing isn't really focused on say your scuffs or your control freaks or your Astros, even though those would give you a great advantage in terms of gathering gameplays or doing very well against, say, other competitive players who are up to your liking, whether you're a 3.0 player or a freaking 0.75 player, you're going to have somewhat of an advantage over that kind of player. But where exactly do you draw the line when you go into modded controllers and any other little thing that I would personally describe as a form of hacking or cheating in the game? Now, keep in mind, I do have one and I have used it for fun with friends and and in a private lobby and even in a pub lobby where we were going to win the game regardless and I was just basically spamming a 50 cal sniper rifle just to show hey I got a modded controller but where exactly do you draw that line where do you say hey you're a beastie player but you're not all that good because you have to use you know astros you went and spent all that money on some astros and a scuff and some control freaks just to be good at a call of duty game now this is definitely not bagging on anyone because if when i get an xbox one if they have the scuff controller available i am definitely going to invest in one because i want to have every tactical advantage i possibly can even if that means i have to spend you know 200 300 just to get it and that is basically how dead serious i am about cod and having to get gameplays but you know let me know what you guys think, and hopefully, even though this was a long video, you guys stayed to the end. And if you did, definitely drop a like on this video. Please leave your thoughts on what you guys think in the comment section. I do return to speak with everyone in the comment section and drop those replies. So, catch you guys next time. I am Money Out.